Copenhagen, Denmark's capital city, sits on the coastal islands of Zealand and Amager. With a history that dates back to 1043, the city is full of historic landmarks, amazing architecture, and interesting sites. For culture, there are historic palaces and museums in which Viking and Bronze Age treasures are on display. Most of Copenhagen's popular attractions and sites are within walking distance, which makes the city easily accessible for visitors of all ages. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Copenhagen, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is the Little Mermaid. At Langley Pier, on a rock by the waterside, you will find one of Copenhagen's most famous attractions, the sculpture of the Little Mermaid. The sculptor Edvard Eriksson created the mermaid in 1913 as a tribute to the author Hans Christian Andersen. Made of bronze and granite, it was inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's famous fairy tale about a mermaid who gives up everything to be united with a young, handsome prince. Number 9 is Copenhagen Zoo. Copenhagen Zoo was founded in 1859 and is one of the oldest zoos in Europe. Home to over 4,000 amazing animals from 264 species, visitors can enjoy incredible wildlife demonstrations with polar bears, chimpanzees, hippos, monkeys, and more. The zoo is also home to one of the best elephant facilities in the world, where you get up close to see these majestic creatures going for a splash in the elephant-sized water bath. With an artificial rainforest, African plains, and an icy arctic enclosure, Copenhagen Zoo is a great day out for all the family. At number 8 is Rosenborg Castle. Rosenborg Castle was built by one of the most famous Scandinavian kings, Christian IV, in the early 17th century. It is located in the King's Garden in the heart of Copenhagen and features 400 years of royal art treasures, the crown jewels, and royal regalia. Visitors can enjoy a journey back in time as the interiors of this lavish palace have hardly changed in centuries and feature historic tapestries charting the conflicts between Denmark and Sweden. Number 7 is Christiansborg Palace. Christiansborg Palace is located on the tiny island of Slotsholmen and contains the Danish Parliament, the Supreme Court, and the Ministry of State. The Prime Minister of Denmark also uses the royal reception rooms in connection with state visits by foreign leaders and parts of this magnificent palace are used by the royal family for various functions. Visitors can explore this regal building, ornate reception rooms, and tour the castle ruins under the palace. At number 6 is Copenhagen City Hall. Visitors can tour the City Hall with a knowledgeable guide and find out the history of one of Copenhagen's most revered buildings. Located on the City Hall Square in central Copenhagen, this majestic building was built between 1892 and 1905 and contains huge oak stairs, beautiful artwork on the walls, and the Jens Olsen's World Clock, a fascinating astronomical clock. Number 5 is Nyhaven. The old harbor of Copenhagen, Nyhaven, was originally a busy commercial port where ships from all over the world would dock. This historic waterfront area is next to a 17th century canal where old wooden ships are still moored today. On both sides of the canal are tall painted houses dating from the 1600s and 1700s. The house numbers 18, 20, and 67 were home to the author Hans Christian Andersen at different times. Many of these picturesque renovated townhouses now have restaurants, bars, and cafes with outdoor seating. At number 4 is the National Museum of Denmark. The National Museum of Denmark in Copenhagen is Denmark's largest museum of cultural history and has exhibitions from the Stone Age, the Viking Age, the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, and modern Danish history. The museum's main building is located a short distance from Stroget at the center of Copenhagen. Visitors can take a guided tour around the museum and get a local's perspective on Danish life and history. Children can also learn and have fun at the Children's Museum, where they can sail a Viking longboat, attend school in the 1930s, and defend a medieval castle from attack. Number 3 is the Botanical Gardens. The Botanical Gardens are located in the center of Copenhagen and cover an area of 10 hectares. It is particularly famous for its extensive complex of historical glasshouses dating from 1874. The garden contains more than 13,000 species and are arranged in different sections, including Danish plants, a rock garden with plants from mountainous areas, Confer Hill, which is planted with coniferous trees, and a beautiful rhododendron garden. The gardens also have a special air-conditioned greenhouse that can recreate environments suitable for arctic plants. At number 2 is Christiania. Freetown Christiania is an intentional community covering 7.7 .7 hectares in the borough of Christianshaven in the Danish capital city. It was founded in 1971 
and today, the self-governing and autonomous community has roughly 1,000 inhabitants. It's a green and car-free zone, packed with art galleries, music venues, and inexpensive cafes. Small local workshops and organic restaurants attract visitors and offer all sorts of experiences. And at number one is Tivoli Gardens. Tivoli Gardens opened in 1843, and there's plenty of family fun to discover in this classic amusement park. Buckle up on one of the world's oldest wooden roller coasters, ride the Star Flyer, a carousel that takes riders up 80 meters above the ground, and delight in the vertigo, which will turn you upside down. Once you've had your fill of the rides, take it easy and explore the stunning gardens and picturesque lakefront. Inside Copenhagen's Tivoli Gardens, visitors can find an enchanting mix of rides with enjoyment for the whole family. So, that sums up our top 10 things to do in Copenhagen. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.